Question 12. This is a great one, this one. It's all about curtains. Now, we've got a curtain pole. And apparently, uh, this curtain pole, uniform curtain pole, has a weight. So let's put that in of 24 newtons. Uh, it has a length of 3.2. So from start to finish, tonk, tonk, like that. 3.2 meters. And apparently it has uh, wall mounted supports X and Y, which are 0 0.8 and 1.2 from each end. So 0 0.8 from that end. I'll just put it here, that's X. And this one, Y, is a distance 1.2. So there's going to be a support force up here and up here. Sx, Sy. So if that distance is 3.2, this distance from here to here is going to be a, another 0 0.8. And this distance from there to there is 0 0.4. Double check him on that, sir. Good. First part says sketch a free body diagram for the arrangement and calculate the force on each sport when there are no curtains on the pole. So, no curtains, just as it is. We've got our two support forces, just the weight acting down. We need to get SX and SY, so we're going to start by taking moments as we always do. I'm going to take moments about X. And say that the anti-clockwise moments have to equal the clockwise. So, SY is our anti-clockwise. And it is a distance from here of 0 0.8 plus 0 0.4. So, that is 1.2 metres. So that, SY is balanced only by the weight, because there's nothing else on the pole. Which is 24 times 0.8 metres away from X. So SY is going to be equal to, if we put the numbers in, 16 newtons. So remember, all we ever do is resolve horizontally, vertically and take moments. So I'm going to resolve vertically. So these two upward forces, S, X, plus SY have got to be equal to the weight down 24. So SX is 24, take away 16, which is 8 newtons. Good. Let's just move that up there a little bit. Although we might have to look at our diagram. It then says, when the pole supports a pair of curtains of total weight 90 drawn along the full length of the pole. So that does mean the curtains go from one side to the other. So their centre of mass is going to act in the middle again. But it adds 90 to this 24. So, part B. Now, pretty much the same, but what we've got. So an additional 90 so if we're going to we're going to resolve well we're not we're going to take moments to start with just like we did before so just like we did here we're going to take moments so s y the clockwise moment here multiplied by 1.2 hasn't moved is now, instead of um, yeah, it's 
sorry, I'm just, just checking out. Getting tired, you can tell. So we said 24, um, it's now 24 plus 90. So we would say, well, the distance is still 0 0.8, but the weight now is 24 plus 90. So SY is equal to 0 0.8, 24 plus 90 divided by 1.2, which is going to equal 76 newtons. So doing the same as we did before, Sx plus Sy equals 24 plus 90 this time. So resolving vertically, the upward forces balance the downward forces, Sx equals 24 plus 90 take away Sy which is 76. So that will come out to be 38 newtons.